Midnight Mass, released on Netflix in September 2021, cements creator Mike Flanagan as a master of the horror genre. Midnight Mass is as thoughtful and biting as it is creepy and disturbing. It has excellent writing, characters to love and to hate, and an absolutely wild plot that is not worth spoiling. Half the fun is discovering the story as it unfolds, so I encourage you to go in as blind as possible. The rest of this review will not cover any spoilers. Mike Flanagan has been on an absolute hot streak over the last three years, ever since his limited series The Haunting of Hill House in 2018 and his follow-up in 2020, The Haunting of Bly Manor. Both of those shows, as well as Midnight Mass, execute so well because they're not just horror for horror's sake. Almost anyone can create jump scares and creepy moments. What Flanagan does so well is use horror as an element rather than the focus to tell a bigger story, to make a point about people and humanity in general. Flanagan's shows actually have something to say. For The Haunting of Hill House, it was about how families confront tragedy and death. For Bly Manor, it was about what defines a family. And for Midnight Mass, it's about what can happen to a community when people take religion too far. Midnight Mass takes place on Crockett Island, an isolated little fishing village with only about 100 or so residents. The island is entirely fictional, and while there are several mentions of the mainland, it's never specified where exactly Crockett Island exists. It's somewhere in America, but we don't know of any states or regions nearby. None are mentioned, and that's entirely purposeful. The idea with Midnight Mass is that its descent into hell is a parable for what could happen to any small American town. The show's protagonist is Riley Flynn, played by Zach Guilford, who played Matt Saracen in five seasons of Friday Night Lights. Flynn is a venture capitalist, or rather was a venture capitalist, until he got drunk one fateful night and fell asleep at the wheel, hitting and killing a woman with his car. This led him to a four-year stint in prison, but at the beginning of the show, Flynn is finally out of jail, returning to his home where he grew up on Crockett Island. He's moving back in with his parents and kid brother, and as he reunites with his loving mother and distant father, he remembers just how much religion plays a role in his family and town, even though he has since become an atheist during his time incarcerated. This tension gets played up further as a new priest comes to the tiny village, a man by the name of Paul Hill, who is taking over temporarily for the island's longtime priest, Monsignor John Pruitt, who has fallen ill and is recuperating somewhere on the mainland. But, very quickly, the residents of the town start becoming enraptured with Father Paul, and the entire community becomes very interested in his sermons as miracles start happening inside the church to people who attend Mass. There are several other standout characters here, including Bev Keen, a religious zealot played to perfection by Samantha Sloyan, Sarah Gunning, the town doctor who doesn't care much for the church, played by Annabeth Gish, Sheriff Hassan, played by Rahul Kohli, who is the town's only law enforcement and the only Muslim person, aside from his son, living on the predominantly Christian island, and Aaron Green, played by Kate Siegel, one of Mike Flanagan's frequent collaborators, who plays Riley Flynn's childhood sweetheart who is now grown up, still living on the island and pregnant. There are a lot of excellent storylines and character arcs to explore in Midnight Mass, but the biggest overarching theme of the show is religion, and what can happen when people take it too far. The show delves into the subject with a delicate hand, showing how religion can keep families close, bring people together, or be a source of comfort in hard times, but it also shows how religion can be used as a tool to divide, to judge, and how it can have a blinding effect how it can lead people to misidentify, misinterpret, and the various dangers that presents. Midnight Mass, even in its fantastic and supernatural moments, never strays too far from the allegory it presents, making the story feel both unreal and very real at the same time. Midnight Mass is not perfect, most notably the relationship between Riley Flynn and his childhood sweetheart Aaron Green, while a centerpiece of the show, lacked emotion and believability at times. In one scene roughly halfway through the series, Aaron spills her guts to Riley on the couch in her living room and delivers a very long monologue about a recent trauma of hers, but then Riley doesn't even acknowledge what she shares and launches into his own long diatribe. It's just one example of many notable instances where it feels like characters are talking past each other, rather than to each other. But, to Flanagan's credit, 
almost every other character on the show, from side characters to main characters, from the town drunk to the mayor to the strange new priest, are all meaningfully used. They have three dimensions, neither all good or all bad, and they elicit emotions. Their backstories and personal journeys make you care about what happens to them. There are excellent performances here, and they all serve the larger story at play, which, once you reach a certain threshold in the show, will make you want to revisit the earlier episodes. Midnight Mass, despite its few flaws, is a triumph and gets two arrows up. It tackles a topic that many people are touchy about, religion, and it does it with an acute sense of compassion and care. Given how religious people are in America, and how polarizing religion can be around the world, Midnight Mass is a must-watch. There are so many wonderful little touches and details in this show, just like any Mike Flanagan property, and the show has excellent momentum, especially in the second half where characters reveal their true selves and stakes get higher as the show reaches its climax in the final two episodes. For a seven-episode limited series, it is a highly satisfying watch that's sure to please fans of drama, comedy, and, of course, horror. Now I'd love to hear from you. What did you think of Midnight Mass? Have you started it? Have you finished it? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a good talk about this. Thanks so much for watching the download. Until next time.